Hi everybody, this is Robert Monsoor. I'm a lawyer in the Los Angeles County area and one of my areas of practice is personal injury law. I wanted to spend a few minutes today reviewing one of the most important uh, pieces of evidence when it comes to um, personal injury cases and that is the traffic collision report. Now it's not really a piece of evidence because it's simply the officer's opinion about what happened but there's a lot of good information that I look for when I review my clients traffic collision reports. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of the things that I look for when reviewing these uh, reports and uh, it might assist you. So at the very top of the report I basically notice the general information where the accident happened etc. But I always look and see if there was any injuries reported. And that's important because if my clients are alleging injury from the accident and there is no mention of injury on the report, that can backfire. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at the top, it says traffic collision report. Sometimes you will see it say property damage only. And that's where the officer believes that there was no injuries reported and it's just a property damage issue. That will likely be used against my client by the opposite insurance company. So sometimes I'll take a look and it'll say number of people injured. If the other party was also injured, the party that caused the accident, they will have a more difficult time alleging that you were not injured. Because after all, if they were injured, why can't you be injured from the same accident? In any event, moving right along, in the top right section of the report, I often look for whether or not the officer took any photographs. Sometimes photographs taken at the scene are very helpful because um, many times the parties fail to take uh, photographs at the scene and they forget. And also photographs taken at the scene might show the relative positions of the vehicles, etc. So it's important for me to take a look at that and order any copies from the police. And then I take a look at all the different parties that were involved in the accident. In most cases, I like to see who is party number one, because in most cases the officer will put party number one as the responsible party. And if that, you know, if my client is party number one, I'm generally not very happy about that. Also, I take a look over here uh, where there is an illustration of a vehicle, and the officers will often uh, indicate where on the vehicle there was damage. Also, the officers will characterize what their opinion is with respect to the severity of the damage. So they'll indicate whether it was major, moderate, minor. Most of these officers have seen so many accidents and their opinion of the, of the um, damage and the severity of the damage is helpful. I will also take a look at party number one's insurance information and hopefully they do have insurance because then we can pursue a claim against the insurance company of the other party. If the other party does not have insurance, I may have to turn to my client's own insurance company if they have that kind of coverage. And then I'll take a look at all the other parties and I'll take a look at how the characterization of damage is to all the other vehicles. Um, if my client only has minor damage, that might pose an uphill battle for my client. On the next page of the report, one of the things that I look for is the top left area here that I'm circling. It's called primary collision factor. In this location right here, the officer will generally write down which party was at fault and usually it's party number one, and they will write the vehicle code section that they believe that person violated. Now, usually you'll see the same vehicle code section start to repeat themselves if you've been doing this long enough. However, that's not all I look for. One of the other things I, I look for is whether anybody had been drinking at the scene of the accident, and that's in the bottom right here, whether there was any kind of inattention, uh, of any sort, but more importantly I look to see if there were any associated factors that the officer found. One of the things that I don't want to see is my client listed as an associated factor. If they are an associated factor, the officer will list right about here um, what vehicle code section the officer believes my client violated. Keep in mind the police report is just the officer's opinion about what happened. It is persuasive, however, and you don't really want to be on there as one of the uh, factors that contributed to the collision. At the bottom of this particular page there will often be a sketch by the officer as to how the collision occurred. 
this sketch is often very helpful for everybody to figure out the mechanics of the accident and who turned where and who was going in which direction and usually the officer will indicate right here the northerly direction which will help situate the entire sketch on the next page is where the officer will list any injured parties any witnesses and any passengers and so you'll see here whether the individual will be characterized as a witness as a passenger and also any description of injury at the scene will usually be listed right here I also take a look and see if my client was transported by ambulance or taken otherwise to emergency facilities that can be persuasive when it comes to an allegation of injury and also if my client complained of injury at the scene those injuries will usually be written on the police report that's very important because if you're alleging an injury and you mention it to the officer at the scene if you've been consistent from day one that makes your claim for injury much more persuasive I had a client who had a very strong uh, shoulder injury and it was very helpful that from the date of the accident right at the accident scene he was alleging shoulder pain it's not something that surfaced several weeks later um, so moving right along uh, the witness information is also helpful because sometimes I will contact the witnesses depending on what they have to say to learn more about whether or not they will support my clients version of the accident there's also a factual diagram this is where the officer may put a much more involved diagram and then here is a much longer narrative uh, where the officer will write down you know who said what to him and what their opinion was about what happened and usually it's about a paragraph per person and my clients uh, should review that to make sure that it's accurate now earlier I mentioned to you that the officer might file something called a property damage only report and that's what this one looks like now uh, it's a little bit of an older version what I'm showing you here but it's generally the same and if it says property damage only that could um, backfire against my client who is alleging injury so in any event that's a basic review of what a traffic collision report looks like and it's one of the most important things for my clients to get a hold of after an accident if you don't have a copy of it sometimes the officer will give you a little card at the scene of the accident with the report number and we can order one for you this has been Robert Monsoor discussing um, traffic collision reports and hopefully this has been helpful to you if you need assistance and you are in the Los Angeles area I serve the Santa Clarita area as well as um, a good portion of uh, northern Los Angeles County. I can be reached at 661-414-7100. That's 661-414-7100. You can also check out my website, which is listed uh, below this video, or you can just go to valencialawyer.com, and I have a lot of other videos there that can, might be able to uh, assist you in your case. Thanks again. Talk to you later.